This is the process over a 45 minute period. It starts at 10 minutes after sunrise and it moves around the head like this. But back in 9000 BC, the whole light would be slightly higher and it would move around more of the face, more accurately. We've worked this all out very carefully. Um, so this is the earliest known winter solstice sunrise alignment built into a site. Now the good thing about this, these aren't stones that were placed there. This is all bedrock. So they, nothing can be moved. And now it makes you wonder why they wanted to preserve this and fill this in, close the site down 8,000 or so years ago. And this is what we can see today. So they wanted us to see this in the future. There's me, we took Andrew there the next year as well, showed him it, he kind of blew his mind. Lots of analysis, um, how are we doing? Okay. Lots of analysis over, we've done since then. We've looked at it really carefully. We've been back a couple of times. This is actually a time lapse, just watch the head. You can actually see the sun move round. This is speeded up dramatically, obviously. Um, but that's what, this is happening now. This is being discovered now. We couldn't believe our luck. It was like a series of serendipitous events that took us there. So, and this, to me, is a sign of the innovation levels of these people. If they're able to do that, you know, if you actually understand the nature of the winter solstice, only the extreme southern point on the horizon, this will come through the hole. As soon as it, a few days later, the rest of the year, nothing comes through. It's only then, boom, it just comes through. And the hole's like this wide, but it's coming through at an angle like this. It's precisely designed. It's unbelievable. Um, and so this is, you know, this is, makes you question, well, this is where all the ideas of the Stonehenge solstice and everything came from. And after that's all done, it then illuminates the top of the head, which I thought was quite cool, a bit like a halo. Um, 